Persians have a love affair with pomegranates, and Thessinjun is an outcome of that. Now, I do admit it's not one of the most attractive Persian dishes out there, but I believe the taste fully makes up for that. It is truly one of the best Iranian foods out there. You can get the full measurements down below. So let's I heat some oil and add one chopped onion to it. I fry it on medium heat until it is soft and translucent. Then I add some turmeric and fry it for another couple of seconds. Finally, I transfer the fried onions to a bowl. I add my chicken pieces to the same pan. I am using chicken thighs and legs, however, feel free to use chicken breasts. I allow the chicken to brown on one side, and then I turn it over and brown it on the other side. After the chicken is browned, I add the onions to the pan. Now I add the walnuts, which I have thoroughly chopped in the processor. Many people fry the walnuts before adding it to the dish. However, I believe that is not necessary and adding it straight to the chicken allows the natural oils that the dish is so famously known for to release much better. I add some boiling water plus a quarter table of saffron which I have dissolved in water. Now comes my favourite bit which is adding the pomegranate paste. You can easily find this in any Middle Eastern store. However, you can swap it with some pomegranate juice, which you can get in most supermarkets. Many people don't do this, but my gran always adds one tablespoon of tomato paste, and this helps with the final cover and the flavor. So of course, I follow that step. I allow it to come to boil, and then partially cover it, and let it simmer on low heat for around two hours. And that's the trick in Persian cooking, because in that two hours, the walnuts are going to release all their natural oils, taking this to the next. After two hours, I uncover it and season it with some salt and pepper. Now comes the important part. Because of the pomegranate paste, your stew will be really sour. There's different ways of having pessinjun. Some like it sour and add no sugar. Some like it sweet and sour and only add a little bit of sugar. So you do what your taste desires. My family like it sweet, so I add a couple of tablespoons of sugar. Make sure you taste it after adding each spoon. I let it simmer uncovered for another 15 minutes and I'm done. Wow, this tasted delicious. I served it along with some Persian white rice, which I have a recipe on, so check that out. Seriously, you will not go wrong with this. You have to try it out. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you. Bye.